What's up, you guys? Welcome back to Why Body Nation. We are talking Durango discounts and a little bit of shady dealership tactics that you guys need to be aware of in this current market because, yes, there's huge discounts out there from Dodge, from Stellantis, and from many other automakers, but dealerships have shady ways of trying to convert those discounts into big profit for them and less of a good deal for you guys. So stick with it in this video. I've got a deal sheet right here where I'm going to show you where they tried to sneak four grand by me uh, to try to get me to basically cough up an extra four grand that's right into their pocket. Now, we obviously have their website, but this is not the place you guys start. As many of you guys know, once you've identified what make and model you guys want to purchase, you want to go to the manufacturer's website, aka Dodge in this example, because this is where your discounts begin. They're called incentives usually, and there can be both cash off incentives and or APR or interest rate incentives and sometimes lease deals as well. But we're not going to talk about leases very much in this video. So I'm going to dive right into this just after I remind you guys that we started this company, Destroyer1320.com, back in 2021 when my Hellcat was stolen very quickly out of a Dallas hotel parking lot. We watched the security camera footage and all they did was they broke in my back window right here. They went ahead and pulled the neutral release and pushed it three blocks down the road, at which point that is when they reprogrammed the keys. And then they drove my vehicle, my stolen charger, they drove that Hellcat Red Eye for 30,000 miles and 18 months. Uconnect never recovered it. The car was recovered 18 months later by police when they just found it abandoned and it had been driven 30,000 miles. So if you guys don't know about this neutral uh, vulnerability, it is essentially the easiest way thieves steal your car. They don't have to reprogram a key. They don't have to do anything techy. All they do is break your back window or your sunroof and they go and pull the neutral strap and your car is in neutral and they push it away quite literally. So appreciate you guys for checking that out. We have protected over 20,000 Mopars and we are just getting started here. So back to the Dodge website. Now, when you guys go to the Dodge website, you're gonna go to shopping tools. Over to the right, view incentives and offers. And then in this case, we are talking Durango, which they have 2024s up right now. I do not know if they have any incentives for 2025. Those will be coming soon, I would imagine. Now you want to go to show all offers because when you do that, it opens the full book of discounts to you. Now don't just pay attention to the offers up here. Offers one, two, and three, those are just pre-selected. Oh, $5,100 off. Okay. 5.9% APR. That seems fine. Low mileage lease, 500 bucks a month. Okay. All right. Don't stop there. Go down. If you guys are looking at SXTs, now it is a specific discount for or an incentive from the manufacturer. This is coming out of Dodge's pocket, not the dealership's Dodge. So you could get cash off about 10% of MSR, MSRP, 39.30, or you could go ahead and finance at 5.9% APR. Excuse me. Now you guys will see SXT is pretty much the same. Okay, let's keep going here. Let's keep going. Let's see the next bump should be at RTs. Okay, boom. RTs. MSRPs are in the 50s, generally speaking. And look at that, about 10% off. $5,100 or another 5.9% APR. Generally speaking, if you guys can get pre-approved by your banks for 5, 6, 7% APR, I would certainly consider taking the cash off because you're already getting a decent interest rate if you can get that. Now, I will make more videos as I have in the past on, on taking cash off versus interest rates. But in this case, in my opinion, 5.9 for 72 months is not that competitive, whereas $5,100 off is quite competitive. I'm going to continue here, though. So notice specifically, we're going to be talking about RTs in this video when I get to the dealership website and my deal. But $5,100 off for RTs, that's 10% off of MSRP, generally speaking. Let's get down to SRT 392s. Look at that. These are usually in the 70s and the 80s. 8750 dollars off cash allowance 
that's off of MSRP, or the interest rates got better if you qualify. Usually you have to have good or great credit uh, to get these promotional rates. 2.9% APR, pretty good. Again, let's focus on the cash off though, because that's where that's where the shadiness comes in a lot of times. And let's go down to Hellcat Durangos. These are easily 90 grand, if not 101, 107, 115 grand fully loaded. Look at that though, $11,100 off or 2.9% APR. Again, let's focus on the cash off, which this these incentives are good for the month of October. 2024. I'm not going to keep you guys waiting much longer. Okay, so once you guys know that Dodge is giving you $11,000 off, or $8,750 off, or $5,100 off, or $3,930 off for the, for the trim level you're looking at, that's when you go to the dealership website and you got to check and make sure they are going and giving you that discount. Now, I am negotiating specifically right now on this vehicle right here. Now, the, the pricing on their website is not great, uh, but I will, I will scroll up right here and try to get out of your guys' way. Now, what I want you guys to first focus on, which this is going to sound very self-explanatory, but the MSRP, the Manufacturer Suggested Retail Price, Right here, $65,050. Don't focus on the final price yet. I want to show you this is the same car. VIN ending in 727, stock number ending in 727. Let me pull this deal sheet up for you. Let me zoom in a tad if I remember how to. Boom. Okay. Okay. Zoom in. I know you guys are probably going to get cut off by me. Okay, so we're talking about 727 and VIN 727 right here. It's a Dodge Durango RT four-wheel drive with the uh, tow-and-go package on it. Now, look at this sticker price right here, $69,050. $69, and notice what they did here, over here, market value selling price. That is not the MSRP. This is what they this is a dealership shenanigan tactic. Market value selling price MVSP. What is that? That is shenanigans. So remember, we just looked. MSRP was 65050. They put 69050. Yes, they have the power dollars rebate here of $5,100 off, which is correct they did go ahead and give me the discount, but then they added four grand back into the top line, the basically the MSRP, but because they would get sued if they called that the MSRP, because that would be lying, they changed the, the acronym right here. They changed the verbiage for the market value selling price. So instead of just like nickel and dime with nitrogen, with shenanigans, with with uh, trackers that don't work, with low jack this that's from 2002, with ceramic coating, with wheel locks that are quadruple the price, you know, wheel locks for $400. Instead, they just snuck in four grand on the uh, MSRP here. And that is why I hit them up back up and I was like, why is the MVSP 69? The MSRP is 65. So why don't we change that, please and thank you. And this is Rhythm Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram, if you guys were wondering. And I have multiple trade-ins. That's why it's so, uh, you know, like that. So you guys notice. Now, there's a final selling price here, and they're offering essentially 12 grand off MSRP. So let's go back to this. <clears throat> Excuse me. They have a dealership discount as well. And this is one of the reasons I wanted to bring this video guy, the, this video up to you guys because let's, okay. A future deal sheet, they corrected this, but because they said it was an accident, but it wasn't. It's not an accident because they have this on their deal sheets. Now, Dodge, this rebate here, rebate is from Dodge. 
the dealership is not giving you $1 discount that is not coming out of their pockets. The discount that's coming out of their pockets, essentially, now maybe Dodge is also helping them, but essentially the, the dealership is giving you a $5,497 discount. That is the dealership discount. So when you stack those two together, it's like almost 12 grand off. Now they didn't include my military discount in here and they didn't include a couple other little things that I'm going to nickel and dime them on. But with me just hitting them back up and going ahead and telling them, hey, 69 is the M MVSP, whatever that is, that's not a thing. That got four grand taken off. And you can negotiate a little more discounts, whether you're a student, first responder, military. You can you can usually nickel, nickel and dime dealerships for a couple uh, a couple extra hundred dollars off, or maybe a couple thousand more, especially if it's at the end of the month. Now, the other thing is that you guys got to negotiate up your trade-ins. I have multiple cars I'm trading in or trying to trade into this dealership. So if they if they give you all your numbers for your trade-ins after you negotiate down the purchase price for your vehicle, especially if they try to do some tomfoolery with the MSRP, then you can also negotiate up your trading price. Hey, you know, you guys are gonna give me 22, uh, 22,000 for this Subaru WRX. Uh, I think it's, you know, I could have taken it to CarMax and they were gonna give me 24.5. So why don't you put it at 23.5? You can negotiate your trade-in. They don't have to do it, but you can negotiate trade-in. They're usually gonna lowball you on your trade-ins. So with that being said, Another thing to do on dealership websites is to ideally you find your uh, window sticker. So you go ahead and I mean, on this website, I am not seeing a option for a window sticker, but you, if you can, you want to try to find it. Again, I'm not seeing it on here. So that is not ideal because that's another way you guys can confirm the MSRP is by finding the window sticker on these sites. Now, you guys saw, I'm negotiating on this vehicle because I went in knowing that my trade-ins were gonna, my trade-in allowance, my trade-in equity was gonna be about 50 grand, 50, 52. And that's when I saw this price and I looked up the incentives. I was like, okay, I might be able to do a key swap with them. Give them two or three keys, two or three cars of mine, and I can walk away with no payments, with title in hand, uh, with a brand new Durango tow and go. And the tow and goes are great because they can tow um, a full car. You know, they can tow the Hellcat. Probably on an open trailer. Durangos are probably better towing open trailers just with the lack of wind resistance, but we won't get too far into that. So with that being said, let's go back to the Durangos and you guys can see just how big some of these discounts are getting as advertised. And honestly, if you guys went in maybe with a trade-in that you had some equity in, especially a desirable one. Uh, you know, look, they have, so this dealership has three of the same Dodge Durango Hellcat specs. Look at this, or essentially the same. Yeah, the MSRPs on these are the exact same. They have three of these Durango Hellcats that are the exact same spec. And I know I'm kind of in y'all's way, so I apologize for that. Maybe I will go ahead and move my head to the other um, spot on the next video. But black with red stripes, and I believe this has a red interior as well. Let me go ahead and show you guys that. Yep, full red interior. So that's cool and all, but you guys can see that Dodge mispriced these back, you know, 2023, 2024. They're pricing them at $112,000. That's Escalade money right there. That is, that is... GMC Yukon XL Denali money right there. And so Dodge is having to give 20% off base. Well, Dodge is giving about 10% off, maybe a little bit more. So remember Durango's was 11 grand off. And then the dealership is giving that extra eight, nine, 10 grand off, which is why you see the rhythm savings up to $20,265. For a final price on a fully loaded Durango, of $92,000, uh, which is a lot more fair than $112. Um, do I think that $92 is a great price? No, I'd like to be in the 80s, somewhere in the 80s on this. And obviously, 
that's a that's a hefty car payment if you're going to finance it. If you're buying a Hellcat Durango, you, you kind of got some money to burn. Let's just be honest here. So with that being said, um, this one does look like it has a window sticker, which looks great. And so you guys can see, you always want to pull the window sticker up because you can go ahead and confirm. You can confirm the VIN for the vehicle, and uh, which should be down here, bottom left. And then you can confirm the MSRP, the features that you want, and then you go ahead and compare it to the MSRP over here, because then if they give you a deal sheet and they say, hey, sign here, let's get you in the finance office, let's get you cashing out, you want any warranties, whatever, that's when you can make sure they don't pull any shenanigans like this market value selling price issue where they tried to sneak in four grand on me um, in a very... I'll give it to them. It was as, as a sneakier way that I'm used to. Usually they're like, hey, nitrogen this or ceramic coat that, just overpay for it. But they usually itemize it. This is just straight up market value selling price. Boom. Snuck in four grand on it because remember that MSRP was only 65050. So with that being said, taken away from this video, number one, any Mopar owner or F-150 uh, or really anybody, destroyer1320.com. We got VIN covers, we have F-150s covered, we've got Jeeps, Gladiators, Wranglers, Durangos, Grand Cherokees, 1500s and TRXs, 300s, Challengers, and Chargers covered for the neutral strap with our 18 gauge laser cut, precision bent, and painted to avoid any type of corrosion or issues. Our product is the leading product on the market. There are some imitators out there, but they don't fit as well because they are imitators and they have not iterated as many times as we have. And we've protected over 20,000 Mopars. And so we've had many changes to our product to get it right with 20,000 happy customers. Other thing to remember, always go to the manufacturer website rather than straight to a dealership or to a dealership website. Yes, dealerships can put these crazy low internet prices, but if you know if you're negotiating on that Durango that we're just talking about, the Hellcat, if you know that they're, that Dodge is already giving you 11 grand off, $11,100, then when you go to the dealership and they say, you know, what are you looking to be at for price or payments or whatever, you say just no. MSRP minus $11,100 because that's from Dodge. And now what is the dealership discounting at? Is it eight grand, nine grand, 10 grand? whatever it may be, hold them to that online price and then go from there and be careful. They always mess with these deal sheets. I always get them to give me a deal sheet because I hate talking to them on the phone or in person. Put it on paper and then I go line by line. MSRP, just top, discount, rebate, adjusted price, trade allowance, trade difference, dock fee, blah, 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 blah. You gotta go line by line because they're gonna take one or two of those lines and sneak it in on you as demonstrated by this video. So hope you guys found this video informative. Power dollars are back. That is the, the moral of the story. Make sure dealerships are not stealing power dollars discounts and putting it in their pocket. Make sure they're, you're putting these discounts back in your pocket because I saw this so much through the pandemic. So many people bought scat packs, Hellcats, basically for sticker price when they should have been buying them for five to eight grand off because dealerships were taking that discount and then just marking the car up, whatever power dollars was, and then they pocketed all that cash. That's straight profit for the dealership. So is what it is. Ain't one and eight, as someone on a plane once told me. Appreciate y'all for tuning in. Check out destroyer1320.com. Stay safe out there, and I will see you guys in the next video.